Hello everyone, um, I think I should show you at least once my face because unfortunately we will still be uh, long distancing and uh, in fact you will not see me anymore you might be a little bit surprised about that but I will explain that how this works um, because what we will do is a model an online model that is less frequently used I'm sure most of your courses that you've taken are uh, a little bit different in that respect online courses uh, because you would just meet with a professor and he would talk to you right uh, live that's not the case so uh, in this course I will actually have recorded all the videos in advance so we will never have really live sessions except for if you want to discuss something on, uh, like uh, in um, in uh, uh, office hours or something like that. So I'll, talk, I'll say that, I'll mention a little bit more about that. So, okay, so what will you actually see then? If you don't see this, what will you see? Well, you will see this, uh, a white screen that uh, shows that um, this is what is called so-called white casting. So I will write on this screen while you hear me talk and then that will give you, um, and that way I will explain everything in videos. So let's start with the first thing first. What is my name, right? Okay, so I'm going to write it for you. I mean, I'm sure you have seen the name, but you, you probably wondered how in order I'm going to pronounce this name. Okay, so first of all, the background is that I am not German, which some people might think about, especially when if you recognize my first name, but uh, it is closely related to German, I am from Belgium, in which they speak Flemish, at least part of it speaks Flemish, which is the same as Dutch, as the same language that they speak in the Netherlands. And so that's how it's, that's where the name comes from. But you should think that English is actually also very close to my language, Dutch, or even to German, in, in many respects, and in fact, this same word could have been an English word slightly differently written, and therefore it also should be pronounced that way. Okay, so you have to pronounce this as an English word. Now, you still will pronounce it wrong. I, 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 hear, I hear, although I cannot hear, but I know everybody's saying, shooten, shootem, shootems, no. So, what is this? This is an English word, right? That is this sound. And what is this sound? Well, that's this sound, right? So, scoutens. That's how you pronounce it. As school is out, scoutens. And in fact, I mean, it sounds like the word scout, right? And that's what it actually, as I said, it is just a different spelling of the same word. Scout, uh, it's, it's an old name, and the ENS means son of. So, scout, the son of the scout. That was just, that's why my family name was derived. I don't know exactly why, but that's what it was. Okay, so it is the way that I prefer you to pronounce it. It's uh, the easiest way to pronounce for English speakers. But if you really want to know how it's pronounced, because this is a sound that I don't think I have ever seen anywhere in other languages. The SCH is not pronounced sch in Flemish, it's pronounced sch. So this is schoutens but you're going to hurt your throat if you try to do this, so let's not do that. Okay, so that's me, and you, well, unfortunately, as I said, I won't really get to know you, at least not your faces, and you therefore attach names to these faces, but uh, that's the way things are, and it's probably going to be another, uh, at least once a half year that we're going to be in this format um, until everything is really safe to return. <coughs> so what is going on? What, what, what will you see? So there are two sites that are important and so this um, I'm going to go here to the main site here. This is the main site of the course where all the material of the course is. So this is the site where you always go to. There will be plenty of links and at some point of course I would, you would better uh, uh, um, bookmark this because every, so like let's see here, uh, this is a bad way, this is a beta site. So the actual site would slightly look slightly differently, but it is the same content. Now, unfortunately, I cannot point here, so you have to follow. I'm always going to put whatever I'm, I'm talking about, I'll put on top of the page, okay? So you see here session one, Tuesday, July 6th. That was, that is the first, uh, the first uh, day of classes. And 
you see there is an assignment, homework assignment from 1.1, and then you notice on the lectures, there is a lecture video. And if you click on this link, I'll do it now, you, you're directed to YouTube where you get uh, a YouTube video. Now it says private video because um, I make the videos only available at the day of class and I recorded this before. So you cannot actually watch the video. I mean, at this point I cannot, I can, I can watch the video, but it's not available yet. But what will happen here is you will actually get to see the video um, and then... Uh, you can then leave a comment on the video with your name. I'll, I'll explain this again, but I'll, let, me, uh, uh, let me already say this, that um, you, to, for me to see that you actually have participated, that you have actually listened to the videos, I want you to sign afterwards and to leave a comment just with your name. You don't have to say anything else, just your name is fine enough. Or if your handle is clear, then I can figure out your name from there. That way I can check attendances, okay? So don't forget to do this. Um, so in order to leave a comment, you have to have a YouTube um, uh, subscription. You have to have a YouTube login name, which is actually a Google name. And I explained this uh, <clears throat> already in a previous emails. So please read these things. It's also on, on the website and, on, and even on Blackboard. These things are there too, if you forgot how it works. Okay, so let me go back to um, the, the course site itself. Let me go a little bit further when, let's see, session three here, that's when the, we really start. The whole engine is working. And you, no, let me go one more, one further. Um, oh, okay, sorry, that, I see that is a minute. Okay. Okay, let me go session four, just, just to take a session. And you see, there are four categories always, assignments, lectures, solutions, and reviews. So this is the daily material. Let's go over them a little bit, what they will be. Assignments, that one of the assignments will always be a quiz. There will be almost every day, I think there's one day that we won't have a quiz, but other, otherwise, of course, in the beginning, no, you're not starting with a quiz, right? It's after, uh, so there will always be quizzes. And those quizzes, so read with me here, quiz on knights and knaves, whatever that is. Do this first, and I'm just meaning to say don't postpone it. Now, look at what I'm saying. You have time until, well, midnight to submit your solution into your own Dropbox folder. So by now you should have this Dropbox folder. I have sent you links. If you have not gotten the link or it didn't work, let me know. After a couple of tries, it always works. I've never had prob a, a case where students couldn't do it, okay? Uh, but it, it's we need this Dropbox folder. Don't make your own folder. Only do the folder that I give you because I have to manage the folder, okay? If you already submitted your pledge, that's something else. Don't don't. I will say more about that pledge thing. So the next part of assignment will be the homework assignments. From 1.6, do this. From 1.7, do this. Now you know, notice that at the end of it, it says special problems. Uh, both from 1.6 and 1.7, special problems number 9, 10, and 18. Now, in general, there will be two special problems. Sometimes it will be three, you see that, or sometimes, well. But mostly, most cases, there will be two special problems. What is about that? What, why, why are these special problems? Well, I'm going to go a little bit down here. Look at homework solution videos. These are the solutions for 1.4 and solutions for 1.6. You see that? Now, if you go a little bit further down here, then you see actually that these are homework assignments from 1.4, 1.5, and 1.6, right? So here, here, these are the, from the previous lecture. So these are homeworks from the previous lecture, and in these solution videos, I only solve these special problems. So these are the ones that I focus on, but that doesn't mean that you shouldn't do the others, right? But this is the ones that I somehow review completely. I give the complete solution of these things, okay. So these are the homework assignments. I'll say a little bit more about that, but I just want to give you the layout of the of the land, so to speak. Then the lectures, you see there, uh, yeah, so you understand this, right? This is a summer course. <coughs> and what is the difference is that it's much uh, more dense. And what we will do is not only we have, instead of two meetings per week, we have four meetings per week, but the meetings themselves are longer. So much so that we basically, in, in two days, we will cover the material of three days in the regular semester, okay? 
So this course was, I taught this course many times in the regular semester online already. So this is a, a, a re redesign of that course in which I have put some lecture videos together in the same lecture day. Okay, so that's why you have not sometimes, sometimes you have one video, sometimes you have two, sometimes you might even have three videos, depending a little bit on how long they are. So these are the videos of that day covering the material of that day. Okay, so lecture video 1.6, lecture video 1.6. If you look at the title of session four, that is 1.6 at 1.7 introduction to proofs okay so then the solutions ah no notice that there is also the first one and the solution is solution video for quiz one because quiz one was the day before session three and therefore the next day i show you the solution well i show you the solution video will be available the moment the quizzes are graded now i cannot because it is every day a quiz I will be a little bit behind but by the weekend i will have caught up and so by the weekend all these videos should be available perhaps even earlier you will see when they are available okay i definitely urge you to go and look at them especially if you didn't do that well on the quiz find out what are your mistakes okay uh, in in this is again a high level mathematical math course and there is therefore a continue um, a need to understand previous things to to work on the next things the course, as you see, will there's a lot of things that are that we need in in uh, that we keep needing to do all the time, and and especially this quiz one here is a very important quiz on truth tables. That is something that we will use throughout the course quite a lot. So if you don't know how to do this, you have to make sure that you understand this. Otherwise, you're lost. Okay. And then, as I said, under solutions, we also have the homework solutions from the previous section session. Okay. And then a review, and the reviews will be, of course, a review for the quiz that comes up the next, so you see, review for quiz 3, that will be on Tuesday, July 13th. Um, that will be, therefore, in session 5. Okay, there's always, the, the review is always the day, or, well, in this case, yeah, the previous session, let me put it that, okay? And that's, again, again, a video in which I explain what kind of quiz question you should expect, and the quizzes are really very similar. Okay, so that's the layout of the course, and you see this is, will be uh, throughout <coughs> the semester, this month, basically, you have these assignments. Now, let's go to the course procedures, a little bit more about the course procedures. So, before I even start, let me go back to this issue about this being a summer course. So, it is more condensed, therefore, there will be a little bit more material packed together. Um, and it, and there is a lot of quizzes, and there are, and the quizzes will make the most most of the the grades coming from quizzes. I will dis discuss the grade policy in a sec. Uh, Sixty percent will be from quizzes. In other words, if you don't do the quizzes well, forget it, so to speak. There is very hard very hard to, to catch up. It unlike a regular course, um, these online courses. Uh, have a different um, weight on what exams, how exams are counted. And there is a reason for that, let me not explain that, but the design is here that the weight of the, 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 major, the bulk of your points come from daily quizzes. Okay? But, since this is a summer course, this is just a online course, since it's a summer course, it is very condensed. It means there's a quiz every day. And it means you need to have enough time to work on this. Some of you uh, try to, to uh, squeeze this in into other things that they have to do. They are working and they think, okay, I have to graduate. And this is the last course I have to take to graduate. Make sure that this is then the only course you take. Don't take too many courses. It's, it's very hard to already to take several courses. Um, well, well, in the semester, it's already work enough. But in the summer, it's almost impossible. Okay? So uh, make sure you will have to... Well, first of all, these videos are long right you're supposed to meet every day two and a half hours so these videos all together probably add up to about two and a half hours the review videos the quiz videos the homework videos the, the lecture videos all together but then you have to make your homeworks and then you also have to do the quiz now you see that for the quiz you had the whole day the the, the quiz will be available on on the day uh, of, of the class and you have the whole day to finish the quiz so the model that I'm describing here is what we call a hybrid asynchronous model. That means um, it is asynchronous in the sense that there is no actual time 
uh, uh, limitation on on uh, you don't we don't meet at six and we end at eight thirty. That doesn't exist. That's not part of it. That makes it asynchronous, not synchron, not not same time, not live. But it is hybrid in the sense that there are daily uh, requirements. A true a synchronous course would not have a daily requirement. They would have weekly requirements or something like that. But this is a daily requirement. You have to finish the quiz at the day of the quiz. I cannot give you extension because the next day is already a new quiz and, and, and you have to need the material from the previous quiz. So extensions, okay, I can give you some half half a day extension or perhaps even a day extension. If you write to me, say, oh, this, this, this happened, can you please give me an extra day? Yeah, sure. I always am willing to give extensions, but not something you cannot say, oh, professor, I was not able to work on the quizzes the last two weeks. Can I make them up now? No. I'm sorry, that's not possible. This doesn't work that way, especially not in the summer course, but even in the regular semester, it will not work. Okay, so this is what I was saying here. This is an asynchronous course, which means there are no real-time meetings. Okay? So... Let me read the rest of the sentence. All course materials consist of videos and will be listed on this website. Since there is no real time, no real life oversight, right? You alone are responsible for timing and scheduling the classwork. So that's very important to understand this. It is uh, perhaps the first semester that we went online. A lot of people struggled a little bit with it because it, things became all of a sudden totally different. Now you get a little bit more used to it, I'm sure, but. While, whereas the usual synchronous courses that you've been used to, to take, most of the courses, math courses are taught that way, at least that I know of, um, in an asynchronous model, the, the, the danger is that you think, oh, okay, I don't have to watch it now, so I can watch it later. Sure, that is an advantage if you, that they cannot, have no time, then you can say, okay, I, I have to be somewhere, I have to do this, but then I'll do it on Friday, I know, or on Saturday. But you cannot postpone too long, because remember, there are the quizzes, the daily quizzes. So this, you have to weigh what, what can I postpone and what can I not postpone. What is important, because there is a quiz coming up, and what is what can I think, I'll, I'll watch it a bit later if I can. So as far as the days are concerned, I would not shift too much. But a big advantage, of course, is that you don't have to sit down at 6 clock and, 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 and stare at this thing for two and a half hours. You can pace yourself, you can watch the video halfway, stop, take a break, and go back to the video and watch the rest of the video. Okay, that's the big advantage, right? That you can um, pace your own um, t learning, but it's a danger that you might be la too lax, that you say, oh, okay, that's cool, let's be cool, let, that's, there's not, no rush, no rush, and then all of a sudden you realize, oh my god, I haven't watched anything yet. And there, it's not just half an hour videos, right? It, these are all together, as I said, two, two and a half hours that you will have to watch just videos. So, watch them. Of course, there's nothing against you watching them from 6 to 8.30, which are our official uh, course hours, but as I said, you don't have to. That's the big, the big advantage and the big... Um, how do you say that? Lure, or like, yeah, you could be fooled into waiting too much, okay? And, and, and not working enough on it. Now, another big, big thing about online courses is that there is no, as I said, real life oversight. I'm not sitting there and watching you do things. So, one thing that's, I cannot, immediate, immediate interaction we won't have, especially because we do this asynchronous part. But more importantly, I cannot see whether you cheat. And so, therefore, a very, very important is the honor code. So, before we start, I expect everybody to pledge their commitment to the online format. That, so, when you, you're going to sign something, and when you sign, you say, okay, I accept that this is the way we do it. If you don't want to follow this asynchronous model, then you are, are free to, to uh, drop this course and, and take a difference. I don't know whether there are different sessions, I think, perhaps. Uh, or, or wait until the semester, the, the regular semester, to take, a, to take a session where you like the format better. And I'm going to keep on reading. And to honor the rules of conduct, we have a, a, a set of rules for quizzes. So let me go to the rules for quizzes first, because that's one of the big things we will do. This is here. The rules for quizzes and also for the final. I, I, I read the bullet points. You are allowed to use notes and videos from the textbook to solve the sorry notes and videos and the textbook to solve the problem and use your calculator 
In other words, we are used to a use so-called open book testing. So open book, you can use all the material that is legitimately part of this course you can use. Okay? You will say, oh, 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 that makes it all of a sudden easy, but now be, be careful. You will not get much credit for the answer, even if it's correct. What, where you, most of the credit will come from your work, and any missing work steps will be penalized. This is, why is this? Why I need to see all the steps? Well, first of all, that guarantees for me that you actually did this, and not somebody else, or that you didn't copy it from somebody else, or that you went online and found the answer online. There are many ways to cheat, and especially since I cannot watch you, right? So, <coughs> if you cannot explain in the steps all the all the, the results that you get, then that means to me that you've got the result in, in, in an, an illegitimate way, and not, uh, not the correct way. And uh, so that's why I give points for work and not so much for the answer. The good thing about this is that if your answer is incorrect, but it was a silly somehow mistake somewhere in the or, or or you did something wrong, but everything else is correct, you still get a lot of points. Okay, partial credit. Then third bullet point: you are what are you not allowed? These are the things you allow, but what are you not allowed to use any online tools such as Wolfram Alpha or online help to solve problem. There are online tutoring sites and so. You cannot use those, and I have to warn you, we have, the my department, since, since this uh, online uh, teaching started, we have developed a relationship with many of these online tutoring sites, and they have agreed to us that they will report any violation, and they will give us access to all their, all the people that have, all the students that have requested uh, tutoring from them. So that I can very easily verify, and I have done this, and I've seen in the past, and I've warned the people that do this, that somebody goes to an online tutor site and puts this as a problem, uh, a quiz problem, and says, oh, this is a normal problem, can you help me with it? That is not allowed. You cannot do this, and it is violating the honor code, which you will sign. You will sign that you will not violate the honor code. So this is, will be this uh, academic dishonesty, and as I said, I will be, it's very easy for me to find out that you did this. So Please do not do this, okay? People think that they can fool, fool us, but we have many, many ways, us being instructors, many, many ways of figuring out whether you are actually doing the work yourself or you got it from an illegitimate, illegitimate source, okay? Next bullet point, last bullet point, you are not allowed to ask anybody else's help, not your friend in next, sitting next to you or your cousin or whatnot. Uh, the work must be entirely yours. That's for the quizzes, not for the homeworks. So homeworks, you can use online tools. You can go to uh, tutoring sites. You can uh, ask help from, from your peers or from anybody else. That's for homeworks. But this is only for the quizzes. You cannot do this. Okay. So these are the rules for quizzes and final. Now, let's go back to the honor code because that's a very important part of this online format. So... Uh, Read the, uh, read the first sentence again. Before we start, I expect everybody to pledge their commitment to the online format and to honor the rules of contact, in particular the rules for quizzes. To this end, I want each of you to read the rules of conduct, I will click on it, including the footnotes, and then handwrite a following phrase, the, the phrase that is down there, but let me continue, sign and date it, and then deposit it in your Dropbox folder. You remember you have this Dropbox folder, that's where you communicate with me. All the material goes there. Don't send emails with these things. Uh, I, I will. It has to be in the Dropbox because I have to keep track. I have. I keep record of these things. When you submit something in a Dropbox folder, like a quiz or this pledge, once I've either graded it or seen it, I move it to a backup folder. So don't be always saying, "Oh my God, I put it there and now it's gone." That's normal. I, that means I've seen it. I've done with it what I want needed to do and now it's in a backup folder because I want to keep the folder empty that we new material comes up right away that it doesn't interfere with older material okay so uh, now what do you sign I then you put your name pledge to uphold all rules of our honor code and then you sign and date and so what is the honor code rules of conduct so I'll click on this this is the honor code and I'll read it with you by signing the pledge listed on the web page 
the, the, the sentence that I just mentioned, you agree to uphold all of the following rules. And then there are footnotes, but I'm, let me not read the footnotes. You, you will read the footnotes. But the, the five points. I pledge to watch the entire lecture videos of each class before I sign off acknowledge, acknowledging so. Remember I told you when you watch a lecture video, afterwards I want you to put in a comment your name saying that you actually watched the video. But you can only do that if you actually watch the entire video. Don't do it before and don't say, oh, I'm going to watch it, but I'm going to already put it now. No. Do it only when you've done it. Two, I pledge that when assessing my homework, and I haven't talked to you, tell, told you what it is, but I'll, I'll, come, we'll, I'll do it soon, I will be evert, evaluating myself honestly. So keep that in mind. There's here about homeworks that you be honest with those. But I'll explain more about that in the sec. Three, I pledge that any quiz or test, including the final, will be solved entirely by myself, making use only of the textbook, lecture, review, and homework videos, personal notes. Of course, you can take notes because it's an open book, right? It's open book. So, so you can for yourself write down, oh, okay, I want to do this this way, I do this way. Uh, you can watch the review video for the quiz. There's nothing you can watch the review video 10 times until you get, get it and say, oh, now I get it, now I'm going to do the quiz, okay? You can use a calculator and without resorting to help from anybody else. That's three. Four, I understand that violating these rules may result in a failing grade. Because that is, first of all, you, you, you're breaking an oath, which is already something you should not do uh, from an ethical, moral standpoint of view. But secondly, you're also breaking uh, the code of um, academic uh, honesty academic integrity, and that's a very serious violation which the, the, uh, the college takes very seriously and, and people have a chance. Not only will you fail a grade, but if this happens in excess, you might be uh, banned from college, okay? And five, I am, say, I, I am who I say I am when I sign this pledge. Of course, don't give this to somebody else and let, he do, let him do all the work, or he or him, she or he, okay? So that's the... That, that, that's the um, the uh, pledge that you will sign, well, that you agree to when you sign your name here. And so here is, for instance, a copy of mine. This is what I want you to do. I, Hans Kautens, okay, pledge to uphold all the rules of our honor code. And this from, you see this from uh, a year ago when we started doing this. So I want everybody to write something like this, with their own name, of course, sign it as, and date it and then deposit in Dropbox box. And that this bounds, this is a contract between you and me that you will uphold all the rules and do not break a contract. This is very, this is, so our society is based on the fact that we have to trust each other, okay? We have to trust that the person that has a degree has obtained that degree in, a, in an uh, honest way, that it is his accomplishments or his or hers accomplishments to have uh, obtained this degree. You don't want a doctor to have copied everything from his from his friend, and then then you go to the doctor and he doesn't know anything, right? The same for any job that you're doing. You want the, the employer and your colleagues and the person people that are relying on your job who want to make sure that you know your job, and therefore you have to get your your credentials have to come from your own work, okay? And also, when you pledge something, when you make, make an, uh, a statement, on, an honored statement, when you sign an oath, you should uphold that oath. That is also on something that's based, basic trust of how society works. If, we, if we, these things we cannot rely on, then it would be complete chaos, right? There's, then there's no reason to, for anybody to do anything or to uphold any law, so to speak. It's not just... You, we should not uphold laws because of the punishment that can follow from it, although, as I said, there are potential punishments here if you break this code, but because we are honorable, that's why you would uphold this uh, oath that you sign. Okay, that, so uh, now let's go to homeworks. Everything else, uh, I, I'm not going to read everything here, but there's one thing I still have to explain. Um, homeworks. You're expected to do all homework by the beginning of next class. Okay, so again... You can be late once, twice, a couple of times, but not excessively. And it's very, very important for yourself because the homeworks is basically the way that you learn this course. Without homeworks, there's no way of learning mathematics. Mathematics is not something you can just passively ingest. You have to do these things yourself. You have to work out, you have to write down these equations or whatever it is that you have to do. 
uh, in order to figure out how things work. And you're going to have to make mistakes before you can learn how things are correctly. But, so, you're expected to do all the homework by the beginning of the next class. I will neither collect nor grade the homework, though. But I will always assign two special problems. I remember that I told you this. Two, sometimes three, sometimes one, perhaps. But in general, two special problems, which I will solve the next session. It will be homework solution videos. Now, since we are combining sometimes two lectures from the regular semester into one course, there might be two homework assignments, two special, two, two, two groups of special questions. So okay, keep that in mind, right? And... The way you earn points for making your homework is by every time after you did your homework and watched the homework solution video to self-assess your progress by giving yourself one to four stars. Okay, what do I mean here? So let me go to uh, another website here. Um, where is this here? Uh, here? Let me go here. This is Blackboard, actually. And so this is... <coughs> Sorry. Sorry, the course is not available yet, so there's not much to see yet, but a couple of things here. Uh, let me go first, you see on the left-hand side, the little menu, you see homework self-assessment. Let me go there. So, this is what I'm talking about. In, in general, there will, every day, more of these things will pop up. They, 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 they will be available as, as the homeworks are assigned. But I've made the first one already available, although technically it should only be available the second day, the Wednesday, but okay. So, what is this? So let's click on this. So this is an assessment, so you click on it to do it, and then uh, it says, see, um, multiple attempts. This test allows multiple attempts. So don't worry if you make a mistake the first time, you can do it again, it doesn't matter. Begin, okay. So let's read the instructions. I try to solve as many assigned, okay, no, sorry, the instruction is the, the most important is the sentence above it. Give yourself stars to see how you're doing with the homeworks. Now, one star for each of the following. So there are four things that gives you four stars. First thing, I try to solve as many assigned homework as possible. Second, I watch the homework solution video. Remember, that's a video that comes uh, the next day. I did the first special question correctly. I did the second special question correctly. Okay, so now what you do is you say, okay, which of these things did I do? Give myself a star. So my self-assessment, now look here in this, in this um, thing here, you have to put in your answer. Now, the answer has to be in terms of stars. Okay? So, let's, let's see. Let's, let's uh, do an example. Suppose I did, I said the first one, I tried to solve as many assigned, assigned homework as possible. Yeah, I tried, except the last two, I didn't get it. I, I didn't know what to do. But I tried everything else. Yeah, that's sure. That, you, you deserve a star for that. I watched the homework solution video. Yeah, of course, I do that. Yeah, okay, so another star. I did the first special question correctly. No, I got it completely wrong. No, so no star for that. I did the second special question correctly. Well, yeah, you know, I got everything almost, but then I did this silly mistake at the end. Well, this is up to you. Are you content with it? Because this, look, look at the title, self-assessment. I'm not assessing you. You are assessing yourself to see, am I happy with myself? Am I ready? That's what it means. And if you say, okay, I did everything except a silly mistake at the end, so yeah, yeah, I did actually get it. So you actually can tell yourself, okay, I think I earned three stars. Okay, so you put three. Well, you put number three? No, that you put in three stars. So star, star, star. Okay, now you do it, save and submit. You want us to submission? Yes, okay. Now, it is important. This screen is a, is a, a, a log that you have actually done this, the, the, this assessment, but click here on OK. Don't forget to click on OK here, on the bottom, OK? And now you see here, let's go down, question one, my self-assessment score for homework one is star, star, star. Response feedback, continue to make the most of your homeworks. Happy face, green. And you get, you see on the right-hand side, 0 0.5 out of 0 0.5 points. You get half a point per homework that you do this way. Now, how are these cal com points calculated? If you give yourself one star, two star, three star, four star, the only four possibilities, or, then you get half a point. Of course, if you don't do anything, then you don't get points. So you get a point the moment you have done at least something. But again, and now this is where the honor code com comes in, only when you actually did these things, right? You have to be honest here. But I will never look at this score. If you say, if you give yourself three score, three stars, or four stars, or one star, I will not 
penalize you for one star or give you more credit for four stars. It's a self-assessment. You have to figure out how am I doing. And that's, you can see even in the beginning you do one or two stars, and but in the end you're getting more and more stars and you say, okay, at least I'm, I'm getting there. I'm, I'm getting it. Okay? So that's how it works. Now, let's see. What can go wrong? Okay, so let's do the same thing. Okay, I did this already. So it says, do you want to do it again? I said, yes, yes, I want to do it again because I made a mistake. I want to put in, again, let's say, again, three stars, but I put in three because three stars, right? So, okay, go. What happens then if I do this? Okay, I say, okay. It gives you me the log that I did this. And then now it is important. Push it, okay. And look at the bottom, red, sad face. And it says, please reply with either star, double star, triple star, or four star. Whenever you put something else that is not star, you're not going to get points. So you see 0 out of 0 0.5 points. Although your intention was to get full credit, it, you won't get it. Now, I'm not monitoring this, so this is up to you to monitor yourself here again. Okay? I will just see that, okay, there's 0 points here, so it, everything is calculated automatically. I, I will not even look at these things. So make sure that you double check that you actually get the correct answer here. Now, you can always, always go to my grade. Here, the migrate guy, uh, the, you see there's all the quizzes, and in the bottom here you see the homework self-assessment. Oh, I got zero points here because I, I did a mistake, I guess. Uh, although it should have given me the maximum score, or it gives the last score. Mm. Yeah, okay, that doesn't matter now, that's not so important. Okay, so um, that's uh, <coughs> with the homework self-assessment. Let me go to course information, because now I have to talk a little bit about the... Um, a great, a great distribution, that's the last thing I need to really say. Uh, so let's read this here, the grading policy. There are three categories, you see quizzes and WI essay, which I have to explain still, then the homework, and then the final. So the homework I already explained, you get an end to get a 0.5 per every homework, and it will uh, count for 10% of your grade. That's not nothing, right? And it's easily uh, uh, gotten. Being just doing your homeworks, you get 10 points. You have to do the homeworks, right? That gives you 10 points, okay? You read the details of it, but I'll, I'll let now go to the quizzes. The quizzes, and this is very important, as I already said, count for 60%. That's two-thirds of your grade is on quizzes. In other words, if you don't do well here, there's very little room for you to improve on this one. Sometimes people say, oh, yeah, quizzes, I didn't really do good quizzes. How much do you have to have on the final to pass? And I tell them, well, you can do the final as as the final, you're still not going to make it because you don't have enough points during the quizzes. Because the final, go back down here, is only 20%. Okay? Uh, the date sure here is wrong here. I will adjust that. It's still, I'm working on this side here. So the final will count for 20% of the grade. That's not nothing, but it is also not much. Right? Because the quizzes are three times more important than the final. So keep that in mind. So, um... That's the quizzes. Now, what is that? All, all that I'll absorb to 60, 10, and 20 is 90. So, what is missing here is a WA essay, 10%. So, uh, I'm reading this, this paragraph here on top. This course is des designated as a writing intensive course. That is a designation that uh, courses are, are given by the college, um, saying that there is a writing component to this. And to fulfill this requirement, there will be an essay assignment which is worth 10% of the total grade. The assignment will be made available mid-course and will be due approximately a week, well, the weekend before the finals. Details will follow. So this W, uh, this, you see the, uh, the menu on the left is there, WIC essay, but at the moment I don't think it's nothing showing because I have not made it available yet. But at some point this will become available and that, that's an essay that you have to write. It's a two, three page essay. I'm very, very lenient with what you do. It's, you make it a fun assignment. Most people like it, uh, learn a little bit about it and, and do a good job on it. And I am supposed to be giving you, being strict in grading about your English and so, but I know that this is not, people are not taking this course not taking math, discrete math for their English composition, so I'm not going to make much of a deal of that. It's, it's lo as, lo as long as you do the work that I ask you to do, I'll give you the credit that you want, that you need. Okay, and that's 10 points. It's again, an easy, easily deserved 10 points. It needs, of course, some work from you, but that will be explained later. <coughs> so, 
<coughs> okay, let me now quickly return to uh, the main website. So, um, the grading policy is it's, it's in a little chart here, That's basically what I just said. The textbook, okay, the textbook is um, why, why the math department already uses the 8th edition, I'm stuck, stick, stick to the 7th edition. Now, that could cause a bit of a problem because some of you might get in the 8th edi edition. It's not a free, fortunately, it's not free, so you're going to have to order this. But I'm actually deliberately keeping the 7th edition because all the editions are much easier to obtain. There are perhaps you know, bootleg copies, but I'm not supposed to talk about these or encourage these, so I'm not saying about anything about this. But you can also, I'm sure, can order this uh, online. Uh, rent is even for a, a month, for a semester or, some, or for a month, okay, because it's only for a month or so that you need it, uh, at, at a very reduced price. But you need this book because the homework assignment, so when I say here, for instance, um, homework from 1.2, do number 7, 19 to 21, 25 to 70, 40, 42. What am I referring to? The textbook. And in section 1.2, these are the numbers of the textbook. Now, the textbook has some also some solutions of the of the of this homework, so you can check some of the solutions. But as I explained, there were two special problems, sometimes an extra, you see extra problem here, but I'm expecting you only to do the two. Those I will explain in detail. But the others, of course, that you're gonna have to look at the textbook for. Okay, that's the textbook. Um, the, 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 the description of the textbook is there, so you can uh, get that. The preparation, um, well, I hope by now you have the Dropbox account, that's very important, and your YouTube account, to, to the most important things. Uh, there's more details here below that I already sent you an email about this. Uh, the virtual office hours, so you can, most of the time, problems can be solved over email. It's just a quick question that you have. So, officially, my office hours are Monday and Wednesday from... Oh, that's, oh uh, that's a typo. It has to be from 5 to 6, not from 6 to 7. No, not from 6 to 7. No, that's correct. From 6 to 7. Sorry, that's correct. Uh, Monday and Wednesdays, okay? And that means you need time I will respond a bit immediately, but otherwise I may reply with some delay, but I always make a point of answering my students as soon as possible. Right? This is my priority this month. I, I will answer your questions as soon as possible. Now, in case we need to discuss a little bit more, then we can meet uh, via a Zoom session or something like that. Okay? Tutoring, unfortunately, um, unlike what you see here, there is no tutoring ses session available for um, the summer. Okay? That's just uh, the way things are. Okay, so this is the explanation of the course. I hope you will get it rather straightforward. I have not met many people have problems with how things work. It's a very... Uh, I try to make everything very well uh, regulated. Uh, every So what, what will happen is every new session I will make that available on the website. So every, And the actual website at the moment is nothing there. And then... Uh, well, sorry. At, at the moment that you're looking, only session 1 is available. You don't want to see session 2 and 3 and 4. There will be they will be posted on the website once we got into that day. And then you can watch these videos. Because I don't want, want you to go ahead and start looking at things before. Uh, uh, so although I might, someone might have preferred to watch things in advance, they say, okay, now I have the time, let me watch things. If I do that, it's, it's chaos. So I keep, that's why it's hybrid asynchronous. So every day I will post the material for that day, but everything then will stay up the web page. So you can always go back. You cannot go in, into the future, so to speak. Okay, so that's it. Um, I hope that I that this explains a little bit what the course is about. Uh, when, as I said, if the first thing to do now is to go sign that pledge here, right? I pledge to uphold all rules of the honor code after you read the rules and the fine print, right? There were footnotes. I didn't look at the footnotes, so read the fine print. And once you have done this, this posit is in, in, in the Dropbox. Because until I have gotten your pledge, I'm not going to correct the quizzes. And you're not going to get grades for the quizzes. Because then I'm assuming if you don't want to sign the pledge, then it means that you actually have intentions, malintentions, right? Then you're trying to do try to cheat. Uh, until you have written the pledge, I then I think, okay, I'm assuming this is an honest student. Uh, he or she will follow 
will be a man or woman of her word, his or her word. So I will keep, uh, I will trust that this is the quiz, that this is the solution the, the, the student has made, and I will grade it then accordingly. Okay? So there's a lot of trust that has to be, um, we have to work on trust here. We have to work on trust when people are running around without masks, that they are vaccinated. There's a lot of trust now. We, we have seen how much trust is important in, in, in this society, much more now since the last two years. And what happens if people are, cannot be trusted or, or don't care? Then you get this. That's why we have such a large number of fatalities, because we had people on charge that didn't care and people that listened to people that didn't care and or didn't care themselves. It's So let's not be those people and let's make sure that we have... Uh, good time here but this is normally people like this course there are parts perhaps you will like less uh, the part i promise you that will be exciting for many of yours is all the way to the end and but we will build up towards that that is cryptography and that is something i think that at least uh, interests many of you guys right cryptography secret systems and so on and, and we will really see the details of it you see the we will We'll go look underneath the hood, where, where when you use this credit card uh, um, over online credit cards or banking, how does that work, right? Well, what, what are the encryptions that are used? We will actually go look under the hood and, and do them ourselves, so to speak, although on much less smaller scale. All right, that's what the course is going to be. The discrete math is, um, is a high-level course. It's a little bit more... A bit different type of things and what is the discrete here means that we are basically no longer in calculus what we are interested in are the real numbers for us the most important one will be the natural numbers one two three four five six that's basically where we're going to work with a lot <coughs> and discrete so that's what you have to think of discrete what that 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 refers to this kind of thinking where we think about finite that's really what it is about finite things okay but you'll see much more what this course is about once you uh uh, go to the to the very many lectures. There's some logic in there. There's some uh, number theory in there, and as I said, there's cryptography in there as well. All right. So, feel, please feel free to email me with any further questions you have. And otherwise, I hope you enjoy this course, and we can work well together. And you will be. Uh, and one more time, I hope you will be an honest person because that is worth much more than anything else is honor honor is a very important uh, aspect that you can be proud of you can you can say okay i am an honorable person that is not a trifle thing to uh, say all right